What's up YouTube, it's Matt here, aka Georgia Gent, and tonight guys I'm going to be bringing you a video, a brief little video of me explaining the differences and the similarities between Dior Sauvage and Midnight by Bath & Body Works, followed by a little unboxing. Y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all. So if you're new here, my name is Matt. I go by Georgia Gent. I like to do things like fragrance reviews, unboxings, and a lot of live streams. If that sounds kind of cool to you, go ahead and hit subscribe down below. But let's go ahead and get into it. The first fragrance of these two that I want to kind of describe to y'all is going to be Midnight by Bath & Body Works. This fragrance is very similar, in the opening at least, to uh, Dior Sauvage EDP. What I have here is the EDP which still, it kind of gives the same, some, some same similarities there, but not quite as much as it does with the, with the EDT. This, they don't list that there's any kind of bergamot or, or uh, any kind of ambroxin in the opening of that, but I get it in a weird way. Maybe it's, it's how the cedar leaf and the black pepper that are in this are blending, um, but I get that for roughly about 10 to 15 minutes, I'd say. But this is not a very long, very long, um, long lasting fragrance. Uh, honestly, I think that uh, maybe at one point when this was released in 2013, uh, someone at Dior tried that and made a better version of it, much better version of it. Um, one that lasts me from, this lasts probably from 7 a.m. until I'm about 3 p.m. I would say. Uh, almost the entire day, and, and that's that's when it stops projecting off, I feel like. Uh, I, I'm still smelling on my skin, basically, when, when, when I'm getting home. And the EDT, even more so. Uh, this one doesn't last quite as long on me as the as the uh, um, EDT does. But this one right here, this last, you, you get that Sauvage vibe for about 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, today, when I, when I left the gas station, um, is when I put it on, uh, after work. And I drove to Target, which is about 15 minute drive. And the entire way there, I'm, I'm, I'm smelling it. It's, it's definitely projecting. I get out of my car, I'm walking into Target and it's still somewhat there. But while I'm in Target, it basically just dies down. Um, this would be a solid Sauvage replacement if you're okay with respraying like four times a day. And they make it easy for you with these little bottles. But the scent, I, I much prefer the, the scent of the actual Sauvage, uh, just because it is a little, it is, it is a little louder. Um, the, the main difference for me is that Sauvage smells best in the air. Like smelling on, my, on myself, it doesn't smell, it, it smells okay. But the magic, the magic that comes from this is when it's in the air around you, when you walk past somebody. That's where the best smell from that comes from. Now this, like I said, it has the same vibe as the, as the EDT, but that scent that's in the air that you get from Sauvage is not in this. Um, you'll smell like Sauvage to you, but to people around you, I don't think this, this would ever pass as your Sauvage. This wouldn't be a mega compliment getter like Sauvage is. Uh, but for the price, this is this right here was 16 bucks. You get 15 milliliters of it. Um, if you wear Sauvage like I do, this would be a suitable replacement for after the gym um, or after lunch if you want to refresh. This, this, this is one that I'm going to use when I have my Dior Sauvage. I'm going to put this in my bag and I'm going to respray it with this because it is that similar, um, at least for a little bit. But guys, now we're going to get to the unboxing. All right, y'all. So here what we have is a box from Bespoke Post, I think that's how it said. It's a box of goodies. It's not fragrance related, uh, not this box at least. It's just a bunch of goodies I got for myself. Um, every month they ship these out and they let you know what's inside the box before you get it. So you can say, I want that box, I don't want that box. You make alterations, like you can change things about it. And this is the refresh box. So you can see that. That light's probably blinding it out. But it comes in this nice little package like this. I, I picked the navy one, you got a nice little leather strap here with a crab on it. And inside is we have the goodies. We have quite a bit of stuff in here. Um, first thing I got here is Mitch construction paste. You guys see that? 
maybe not. But, all right. And then we have a face cleaner. This is uh, Maplum, I'm not sure you say that, but it's a bergamot, jasmine, and cedarwood scented face wash or face clean, uh, face, face cleaner. Uh, hey, I got some, uh, got, some, got some soap here. I was talking to uh, Papa Four Man Reviews about getting some soap actually. Guys, hygiene is key. If you're out there looking for that girlfriend, this will do it. Um, next, we have some more hair product. We have, oh, this is a, actually, this is a shampoo conditioner. This is Double Hitter by Mitch. This is gonna be cool. All right. And lastly, but not least, we have our toothpaste. Got a little tube of toothpaste here. And that's that, guys. Um, like I said, this is from uh, Bespoke Post. I bought this. I'm, I'm gonna be getting one in, in every month. And I'm, I'm considering reviewing these on, on this channel. I might start a new one just because I don't want to annoy any of y'all, you know? Um, but anyways, guys, like I always say, keep it gent and love your scent, and I'll see you next time.